Cancers, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers. All of my new subscribers, thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, my Cancerian Collective, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you. You know the drill. There are a lot of you in the collective. You could check your sun or moon or Venus rising. That may help you to connect the dots or your natal chart. There is a possibility that this is not your reading. Please do not try to force the shoe to fit. It either resonates or it doesn't. If you try to force it, you may end up confusing yourself. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All of that information is in my description box. Okay, so... Cancers, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And we have here the Temple Path, King of Coins, Eight of Wands in reverse, and Nine of Swords in reverse. So this is, is about spiritual evolution, Cancers. A lot of you, you're on a spiritual journey and you're on the right paths. Congratulations. And this is after a period of, uh, you went through a relationship with someone and it was very karmic. And this was all supposed to happen. So everything you went through with this person, even though it sucked, yes, it sucked ass, but uh, you were supposed to go through this because this was supposed to help redirect you onto your right path. And you are on your right path now. Cancers, a lot of you have let go of this guilt, shame, remorse, regret about things that happened in the past with someone. It looks like you wanted a stable, secure relationship because look, you show up as king of coins, Cancer. You're proper, you're proper things, yes. You are stable, you are secure, you are mature, you are responsible, you handle your business. Now, you may not be all that big on, uh, for some of you, because I feel like some of you are very emotional, and some of you, you may have had some issues of expressing yourself emotionally to people, uh, or to the person that you were with. You may have come off uh, really blunt, and it was... Um, you meant well, but it's just kind of like the way how it came out, <laughs> right? And and you are someone who, you may not tell someone you love them all the time, but you will show them by being very giving, being very loving, uh, by making sure that the kids are taken care of, making sure that your significant other is good. You're someone who, you show your love by doing, you know? So you may not be big on telling someone that you love them all the time or writing them, um love notes or sending them beautiful texts or, you know, even uh, sexy text messages. You know what I'm saying? You may not be someone like that, but you will show them that you care by making sure that you have their back and being supportive. And you are ready for a real solid, stable relationship because you were in a situation with someone where it wasn't moving forward. It was very stagnant. Uh, there was a lot of delay. And that is because Someone was very argumentative. Now, Cancer, I'm picking this up from both of you. You could have been very argumentative with this person, but I do feel like this person was very argumentative towards you as well because there was a lot of uh, arguing, mm -hmm, just back and forth. A lot of discord. And this caused a delay because I feel Cancers, for you, you were just like, well... When are we going to move forward? Like, this is not moving fast enough for me. You know, are we taking this to the next level? Are we moving in together? Are we getting engaged? What are we doing here? It's been how long? We have two kids. Nothing's happening here. And you started to get impatient. And as patient as you are, Cancer, so you know how long it's been when you start to get impatient. Because you're patient as fuck, Cancer. Mm-hmm. Your middle name is Patience. Mm-hmm. So when you decide, when you lost your patience with someone, it was because they were just taking too damn long. But this was supposed to happen, Cancer, because this was supposed to guide you to a path of you being uh, good and whole within yourself. You being patient with yourself. You focusing on yourself, focusing on your achievements, focusing on what you want uh, to prioritize in your life. What's important for you now? Mm-hmm. Because I feel some of you were dealing with someone who was very shady. There could have been a lot of uh, slanderous gossip in the relationship too. 
So either this person was talking about you or this person was entertaining other people talking about you. Mm -hmm. This person could have had a very shady character. I'm picking up another storyline too, Cancers. You may have realized that this person you were dealing with had some kind of mental issues. A lot of anxiety or depression or just something wasn't right in their head. And I'm, I'm not saying this like something's wrong with them. It's just you may have realized that something was not uh, right uh, with someone. I just heard this. They, I just heard that they may have had a screw loose. Some of you may have realized that the person you're with had a screw loose. They weren't screwed too tight or they weren't the sharpest knife in the drawer. You realized that something was wrong. Some of you, you found out about some kind of deceptive behavior. Someone could have found out about cheating. And you don't want this, Cancer. You, you don't want these kind of relationships. You, you're ready for a real, solid, stable, secure, you know, solid foundation relationship. You're ready to be in a real relationship with someone. I just heard someone say, I'm only getting older. You don't... You're not putting your time in to people that want to play around. You're not even investing in anything like that. Because look at you. You're king of coins. You know what you want. You know how to get it. You are celebrating your achievements. And you're ready for someone to match you in that. You're not ready to for... You want to be with someone that you don't have to carry now. They can carry their own weight. And they bring to the table what you bring to the table. So guidance and advice from spirit, we have seven of fire. You could have been dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But spirit wants you to use your intuition about this connection because look, you have two of water here. So I feel for some of you, I'm picking up a group of you in this collective where you realize that this person was acting the way they were acting towards you because of uh, that they had some mental issues. Some of you may have found out that somebody somebody found a prescription for someone for depression or anxiety. And it kind of, it pulled out your heartstrings. You realize that this person wasn't, they weren't all there or they were dealing with issues from their past that they hadn't healed from. That's, it was really fucking with them mentally, right? But for some of you, Spirit wants you to use your intuition and in moving to a higher level with this person because... It's not that they're intentionally doing things to you. It's because they have uh, they have a mental illness. Because mm -hmm. I feel like some of you are going to be moving to a higher level of commitment with someone after a time of the relationship being really stagnant or being delayed because you realized what was really going on with this person. But spirit wants you to use your intuition because for some of you cancers, you are maybe finding out or you have already found out about some deceptive behavior with this person. And spirit wants you to really um, follow your higher self, listen to your higher self if you are thinking about moving into a, a higher level of commitment with somebody. Somebody needs to deal with some kind of mental illness. But there is love here. There is, for those of you that are um, going to be moving forward with this person, there is love here. This person does love you. They do want to move to a higher level of commitment with you. Uh, they just, they have some issues, inner issues, mental issues that they need to deal with. And for some of you cancers, I feel like this is you, where you may have, um, you have, I'm here, I'm here, anxiety. You may have had a lot of anxiety, uh, depression, regret about a past relationship. And Spirit wants you to let go of that now so that you can move to a higher level of commitment with somebody else with this new love in your life because it is there for you. Because this, uh, this situation you had with someone from the past, it was supposed to happen, Cancers. This was a karmic cycle. It was a karmic relationship with a karmic partner. And this was a catalyst for you to learn how to prioritize what is most important for you. Uh, I really feel like uh, some of you are starting to put your spirituality at the forefront of your life. You are starting to prioritize that. And that is why you're allowing yourself to listen to your higher self now and follow your intuition when it comes to um, relationships, romantic relationships with people. 
But some of you, you are on a new... It's like you closed out a karmic cycle with someone and you are moving into calmer waters with somebody. And you are going to get that higher level of commitment. Spirit just wants you to use your intuition in the situation. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Cancers, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. If not, that is cool. Uh, click the notification button. I'm always here for a personal reading. All that information is in my description box. So you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.